Overall, it was a pretty successful weekend. We got a good conference win over Langston, a team that when we go to their place is going to play a lot tougher, and they're, they're definitely not a team that we can overlook. They have some athletic girls, and they hit a couple balls that we just hadn't seen in conference yet um, as far as power and speed goes, but we served really well. Um, we beat them in the first contact game, and so that really helped us going. Um, the next day against Kingsville was a little bit tougher. Our first set, we had to remember that we had to play at a high level again. And they jumped at us pretty quick, and I think they beat us 25-15. But after that, we regrouped and we played extremely well the rest of the way. I, we played a lot of juniors and seniors, and I think our experience showed because they played a lot of younger kids. And The fifth set was just fun. I, I mean, 20-18, to 18, big overtime, lots of kills, lots of swings. We had a good crowd down there as well. A lot of uh, parents were there supporting us and just really proud of the team this weekend with the way that we fought and the way that everybody contributed. The main thing that she did was she's becoming a, a steady attacker for us. She's, she's limiting the times that she goes into a funk. And so that we know when we need a bailout play, we know worst case scenario, she's going to put the ball in play positively. And so with her, with the rules that we had to play with this past weekend, you know, playing a D2 school, we played the NCAA rules, we had to play her all the way around. We didn't have the subs to be able to sub her out, and she did everything we asked her to. Career high in digs, almost career high in kills. She's becoming that senior go-to hitter as an, as an outside hitter that you have to have to be successful. And we're really proud of the way she's stepped up into that role. I mean, we got to give credit to Will and Baptist. I mean, defensively, I think they got very compact. They got their numbers behind the ball very quickly in transition and, and did a good job of not letting us play forward and quickly um, and took away a lot of the opportunity that we could have had. At the same point in time, I also think that we kind of hurt ourselves. Uh, I think that we did a poor job in stretching spaces well around the goal and providing the right balls in, and we were working on that again today. Um, you know, playing the right service that plays the player to the goal and so that they can strike the ball versus playing them a ball that they have to turn and then strike and it slows things down and gives defenders a chance uh, to recover. And I think that we did too often, we too often gave them chances to recover because we didn't play quick enough or it was either somebody got the wrong touch, somebody didn't play the right ball. I mean, the positive out of all this is I thought that our focus was very good when it comes down to two thirds of the field, outworking them, moving the ball, keeping possession. But in the final third, we lacked a confidence that we had had in, in previous games when it came down to shooting and playing in the final ball. Um, I think we were also very uh, unfortunate uh, when it was in the, the first goal that came against us was just a, a costly error. It was nothing that they really did well. It was we turned, we passed the ball to them out of the back and uh, untimely mistake. But those types of things are going to happen. We'd rather have them happen now. Um, our guys have I've shown uh, demonstrated in training consistency and uh, to not make those types of mistakes. But uh, obviously, you know, our time came up and we made a bad pass. They capitalized on it, which was good for them. Um, I, th I thought when we look at the game, it was a clear penalty kick. Uh, it was not called against them, uh, which would have given us a chance to equalize the game. Add on top of that four or five very good chances that we don't put the ball away to equalize it. So we kept ourselves chasing a game, and all of that means is that we have to take risk in the end because when we lose 1 0, 2 0, it really doesn't matter. What matters is that we make adjustments to try to win the game. Uh, I think a, a little bit of, I mean, you take it on the chin that our defenders, when we made some changes, did not respond well. Um, whether it be lacking confidence with those changes. Um, I think it more of just individual serveness uh, that would have allowed us to be a little more offensive for the final 10 and maybe find an equalizer. Um, you know, no, it, it's a hurtful loss because I thought we played good enough to win it in all the areas except the final third and unfortunately some costly mistakes uh, put ourselves in a, in a position where you know, we were the best. We were the best player for the other team in a couple of situations, and it, those situations cost us. Um, so hopefully, I mean, I think the attitude is good now. We just recognize that we made mistakes, and got to continue working hard and try to improve upon them. And uh, we'll get back on the field on Friday, and that's what we intend to do. I thought uh, over the weekend we had two two. 
pretty good performances uh, Friday against uh, Schreiner. You know, I thought we did a really good job of controlling the pace of the game, the tempo from, from you know, minute one to minute 90. Uh, we didn't really give them a whole lot of looks, which is something that you want to see, um, you know, especially when we made changes. Um, yesterday uh, against Wayland Baptist, I thought it was a little bit different story. You know, we had the better of the run of play in the first half, uh, obviously being able to put in four goals. Um, the disappointing part for me uh, was when we started to make changes, the complexity of the game changed. And, um, you know, that's something that we need to just be better with. Uh, we can't go from having a good showing all around from front to back um, on Friday against Schreiner to having a little bit of a letdown uh, Sunday against Whalen, when I think we, we probably should have managed the game a little bit better. First off, I think we have a solid defense. You know, um, we have players who are seasoned now. Um, you know, in Erica, who, who helps anchor the back line, who's a, a senior. Um, you know, <clears throat> I think we've done. They've done a good job of just keeping teams at bay. When 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 they have a dynamic player, they do a good job of swarming the ball uh, and and limiting or disrupting any types of service, whether it be the shot. Uh, cross or passes, so they've they've done a, a very solid job. You know, at the end of the day, it makes our goalkeepers' jobs a lot easier. Um, who who you know our goalkeepers I think are, are are terribly sound as well. Uh, well, I think that uh, most notably was the fact that I don't think that the guys have been playing that much over the summer because it was um, pretty apparent to me for a couple of reasons. One, there was a um, there were a considerable number of unforced errors and when you've been playing a lot you don't make very many unforced errors. The other thing was was the serves. Everybody just struggled getting serves in. So that tells me again that you're not playing a lot because when you're playing a lot you serve well. Mm -hmm. uh, what I was real happy with was the level of um, competitiveness from the standpoint of going out there and giving it 100%. I felt like everybody did that. Nobody, nobody quit. Everybody, you know, went through and competed very, very strongly. I think. If they had played a little bit more over the summer, we would have won some of some, a lot of those matches that we did lose. We were right there with almost every match that we played. I mean, in the past, we've gotten blown out in a couple of matches. That was not the case over the weekend. I mean, we were right there in every single match. And, you know, it's a, you, you want to win all the close ones. You're not going to. But I was real happy with that. I felt like we could have done it. You know, seeing what I saw, but uh, overall, my impression was is that, you know, compared to last year, we're we're just as good, if not maybe even a little bit better. Uh, the mechanics are all there; they're all in place, and that's good. You know, because it's not something oh, I need to go work on somebody's serve or their forehand or their backhand or whatever, which in a lot of times is the, is the case. You got to work on the mechanics, and when you're working on mechanics, you you're not working on strategy. So we're going to be focusing a little bit more on the fitness. I don't think the fitness was too bad. I think it. I, I was not uh, overly excited that some of the guys struggled fitness-wise. It was extremely hot. The other team didn't look any better. As a matter of fact, against Laredo, we looked better at the end of the day than they did. Uh, the other teams that we played, St. Mary's and um, UT Rio Grande Valley, they didn't look any better than we did physically, but that doesn't mean that they were real high either. You know, I wouldn't have been pleased with the fitness level, and I told the guys going in, I said, better get your sleep Friday night, you know, because you got two matches on Saturday. You better hydrate, because the cramping's going to be an issue. I even jokingly videotaped them, said, who's going to cramp today? And they all said, not me, not me, not me. And they, boy, they were right at the edge of all of them cramping up. You know, so that shouldn't be part of the equation. Fitness should not be part of the equation, and that is... Uh, not a disappointment, but I think it was 
you know, made very apparent to everybody on the team, you're not in as good a shape as you think. It shouldn't be an issue. Okay? And that's, that's, and I think everybody understands that. It shouldn't come into play. It should be like, man, I can play all day long. I don't care what the temperature is. I don't care what the conditions are. And they couldn't do it. And they know they couldn't do it. They know they struggled with that part of it. And at the end of the day, they were like glad it was over. You know, and you should be thinking, you know, that I'm ready to play again tomorrow. If we had to play on Sunday, it would have been a disaster. And we got some uh, tournaments coming up in the, in the spring where they're going to have to play three or four days in a row. And we barely made it through two. And really not even two, two, to, two full days. It was a half day Friday and then a full day Saturday. And what if we play, you know, uh, in the same heat in the spring? That's disappointing if they can't make it, you know, because it doesn't matter how good you hit your forehand and your backhand if you can't get to the ball. Right. So that's about, you know, kind of the bottom line is, you know, this was a good test to see where they were at. Now, I think that they know, I'm not going to say they failed the test because they weren't in any worse shape than the other guys. Those other guys were just as bad a shape, but I, it still doesn't mean that you can't improve that part of it because everything else kind of fell in line. If they were a little bit stronger, a little bit more fit, I think they would have pulled out some of the matches that they didn't pull out, but fatigue became a factor.